Yes. As the water filled in the Black Sea, they had to abandon the whole civilization there. Underwater cities were found in the Black Sea, under 150 feet of water. They didn't build them there. And today the earth still shows the effects of this flood to remind us God hates sin. Whenever you're pumping your gas in your car, you can think, boy, this came as a result of Noah's flood. This electricity running these lights here is powered by coal probably. They're burning up some of the trees that were growing in the Garden of Eden in the pre-flood world. Every time you see articles in the paper about dinosaur bones, it can remind you of the flood in the days of Noah. See, God left enough evidence behind that anybody with a brain can look around and say, Boy, God, you hate sin. I better live for you. And Satan has worked very hard to take all of the evidence from the planet that shows God's flood, and he's twisted it around, and he's teaching kids today, all this evidence shows evolution. He's taken what God has created as, as evidence and twisting it around. I want to leave you, uh, leave you with this fossil in, in your mind here. This is a fossil of a fish swallowing another fish. Either that or the little one is a dentist. I don't know. Okay. But neither one thought they were going to die that day. The big one had the little one halfway down and the flood came and the mud probably covered them up and they, they died. The Bible says it's appointed that a man wants to die, but after this the judgment. Harry Truman lived right on the side of Mount St. Helens. Tim Barron's a friend of mine from... Uh, St. Louis. I'm on their show every Wednesday morning, the Tim and Al show. He told me he witnessed to Harry and tried to get him saved, and Harry wouldn't listen. Harry cussed and swore, and he said, I, I, he listened, but he, he, didn't, he did not get saved. Well, the officials came in and said, Harry, you live right on the side of Mount St. Helens. This volcano is going to explode. We would like you to move. Harry said, I've been living here all my life, and I'm staying right here. And he did. He stayed right there. He died. Harry's one of those they never found after the explosion. Isn't that stupid to live on the side of a volcano that's about to explode and refuse to move? Wouldn't listen to the warning. You know, it's just about as stupid to know, hey, God sent His angels and His messengers and His Bible and says, hey, this world's going to be destroyed. You better get saved. And people say, I don't want to get saved. I'm staying right here. <laughs> well, duh, you're as dumb as Harry. You ought to give your heart to the Lord and get saved, okay? Harry refused to accept Christ. As far as we know, he's in hell today. I mean, I hope not, but that's as far as we know the case. The Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son hath not life. God is not willing that any should perish. If you're here today and you're not saved, God wants you to be saved. He wants to forgive your sin, take you to heaven when you die. But just like it was in the days of Noah, the Bible says, So shall it be when the Son of Man comes back. They were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage, and they don't care. Got the same thing today. Until the flood came and took them all away, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Jesus is coming very soon. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. I'd recommend that you get busy and say, God, use me for something. I want to persuade somebody to go to heaven. He's coming quickly. What are you doing with your life? If you want to be saved, if you want somebody to explain to you how to go to heaven, We'll have an invitation at the end of this tape to show you what the Bible says of how you can go to heaven.